Hello friends and welcome to the Gesundheit Kitchen. My name is Hans Rufert and uh, many of you know my story so I don't want to go into all of that other than to say I have no stomach and that sounds for a gastric cancer patient that doesn't sound weird for someone else who's just watching because they're interested in nutrition that might be a little weird uh, but having lost my stomach to gastric cancer it has been a full-time job trying to keep not only my nutrition you know holistic and well and, and uh, I stay on top of that probably better than most but eating and keeping the caloric intake up can be a challenge and there's also special special challenges difficulty um, since we don't have a stomach it's sometimes hard to process and digest foods that are sugary high in fat and so snacking has become really this thing that used to be almost sort of mindless to now it has to be a very focused activity so I wanted to share with you some of the, the snacks that work well for me. And um, again, this is a very personal thing when, you, when you're doing this, when you're trying to find foods that work for you, you have to keep a food diary because what works for me may not work for you. But what I try to do is focus on things that have more protein than sugar. Uh, I try to stay from, away from sugar altogether, but some foods have natural sugars in them. So when you're looking at the, uh, the sort of back of the package, you have to be an ingredient sleuth. And if it, even if it checks all the right boxes, when you're looking at those numbers, I always want to make sure that the protein is a higher number than the sugar. And so all of these things. So let's start with what looks like teeny tiny popcorn is actually popped whole grain sorghum. Now I use sorghum uh, in other recipes that we've done here at the Gazan High Kitchen, uh, but this is actually popped just the way popcorn is popped. Um, with just the tiniest amount of oil and a little bit of sea salt and it is fantastic and it's one of those sort of mindless things that you can eat a lot of and it compresses and condenses down where it doesn't take up much physical space uh, but again you've got six grams of protein uh, per cup as opposed to popcorn which maybe has one if you're lucky uh, but more than likely is kind of closer to the zero side so just making that switch alone is an easy thing to make and I'm gonna end up mixing all these things together. I'm dumping this uh, popped sorghum on top of some cashews. And these cashews have sort of a pomegranate uh, kind of a flavor thing going on. Nothing really bad in there. A little more sugar in this than anything else here. But uh, by the time I finish mixing all of these things together, the amount of sugar is negligible. So in goes the popped sorghum on top of the cashews. This is a mixture of peas and fava beans and uh, lots of protein. I think there's seven grams of protein in this particular mix, a little bit of sea salt. Uh, great one to have in the car if you're just kind of mindlessly chewing. This is a great one because again, super high in protein. It has that great crunch factor, which I think we're always kind of craving. Um, I've recently discovered mung dal, and mung dal are essentially split uh, lentils that have been just flash fried, tiniest bit of oil um, with a little sea salt, and these are fantastic. Again, six grams of protein for a snack is fantastic. Wonderful crunchy texture. Jumping now to my favorite, which are a little bit expensive, and these are macadamia nuts. Uh, they used to be called Australia nuts because uh, the, the plant is actually from Australia. These are roasted, lightly salted, sea salt, um, just pure protein. And you have to chew them up well, of course, if, especially depending on where you are in recovery. Uh, some people have a difficulty with nuts at the beginning, but they can do nut butters. But this is, uh, this is one of my favorite snacking nuts, macadamias. And then we've got some of our more interesting guys here. These are cauliflower uh, puffs. So they're actually made out of, of cauliflower, but also sorghum. So they take the, the whole grain sorghum and they essentially make a meal with it. Um, or like, you know, like a like flour essentially. And so these have about four grams of protein, but they are made with uh, cauliflower. And this particular brand is also full of probiotics. So it has some of those living active bacteria in them, uh, which is always great to aid in digestion. And they also sort of dissolve into nothing. So you can eat a lot of these because oftentimes you miss the experience of just being able to sit down with a bowl of something and eat a bit of quantity. And when you don't have a stomach, quantity becomes a, a difficult thing to, to deal with. So in goes our cauliflower puffs. And then lastly, these are curls that are made out of quinoa. And definitely quinoa is one of those superfoods. And we talk about it a lot here in the Gesundheit Kitchen. Um, but this is a, an interesting way to do it. They make a quinoa flour and essentially make uh, like, a, like a pasta. And I think it's only got three or four grams of protein, but all together with these things, you're getting a, a kind of, uh, you know, big conglomerate here of, 
of different textures, different flavors, and this is the kind of thing that if you put in a, in a little Ziploc bag next to you on a road trip or while you're working, put it next to the laptop, um, mindless snacking is a great way to kind of add those, those calories uh, that you desperately need and to avoid the feeding tube. I, I do just want to make a quick aside that oftentimes when people hear that they're going to have to have a feeding tube, they think it's bad news. They think, oh, this must be, you know, the end of my story. They're thinking of putting in a feeding tube. The feeding tube is really just supplemental. And, and or there might be times you have to be on it exclusively, say post-surgery or if you're having some difficulties. Don't think of it as a negative thing. Think of it almost as a shortcut. It's a bit of a cheat. But when you're at a point where you feel like you need something to snack on, you know, the advice we were given post-surgery was you need to stop thinking about meals as a three times a day event and start thinking of it as sort of open grazing. And having foods like this on hand that are either totally ready to eat or almost ready to eat makes it so much easier to just be able to open a bag of something and enjoy it and have that sort of sense of normalcy that you can eat something rather than reaching for a bag of traditional, say, potato chips, which are greasy and, and salty and honestly have no uh, food value other than having that salty, crunchy uh, experience. This is a bowl full of uh, varied textures, but also dense nutrition. And uh, in my mind, this on my lap at a movie theater is, uh, is the way to go. So give it a try. Let me know what, uh, what kind of snack things you enjoy and we'll look forward to seeing you next time here in the Gesundheit Kitchen. Until then, take care.